Hello and welcome back to another episode of Seiko Modder. Before we get started, make sure you give me, that, give me that thumbs up to help with the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel in the bottom right hand corner and we'll get started here on this piece in just a moment. So on today's video, this is actually not a modified uh, watch. This is an original uh, Seiko Prospe uh, Prospect, I guess is what it's called. It's a Speed Timer Panda. Um, case diameter on this is obviously just phenomenal. It's perfect. It's right at 39 millimeters, which is my preferred. Uh, case thickness on this is only 13.3 millimeters, so still pretty, pretty thin for what it is. Um, lugs on this is going to be 20 millimeters, and again, this is uh, not a modified watch. Let me zoom, uh, zoom out real quick. This is actually an original piece that I purchased for my uh, private use. Uh, model number on this is uh, six, oops, uh, SSC813. Again, this at one point was sold out pretty much everywhere. I have complete box papers and all that fun stuff, but again. This is from my private collection, um, and it's currently up for sale right now because you know I just I don't get enough wrist time with it. I'm going to include um, an extra leather strap here, of course, with some uh, tools, pins, and all that fun stuff to swap out the bands if you'd like. But let's get back to the watch. This, of course, is going to be a quartz movement, but if you look at pay attention to the sweep, it actually has a very very smooth sweep, um, and it's actually solar power as well. So if you look at the second hand down, that's actually sweeping right now. There's markers right there for your pushers if you push this once push it again to reset it more of a stop and go sorry push it and then you can push this bottom push it down here and it'll spin okay if you push this uh, bottom push once more you'll notice right here let me zoom in just a little bit more you see the F and the E that indicates full or empty because again this is solar powered and I'll have to double check the spec, but I believe it's up to six months. So pretty, pretty solid. I don't think I need to uh, undo the crown or anything like I do for most of my modified pieces, because again, this is an original OEM piece. And again, I have box papers, all that fun stuff. Let me zoom out real quick. So my wrist is 19 centimeters. So that is right at seven and a half inches. To me, it wears perfect. Again, if you follow the channel a lot, uh, 39 and 40 millimeters is going to be my preferred for my seven and a half wrist. Again, that's just my preference. Really good weight to it. Let me zoom in and then I'll kind of move it around slowly. It's mainly used within a office environment. So there's virtually no scratches. I don't really see anything actually, but uh, it is used. Just a lot of desk diving, if you will. You'll probably notice some markings right here where the um, I took the bracelet off just to put a leather band on it just to see what it looks like. So it's not really gouged up or anything, so it still looks great. Very sharp, sharp looking piece. Again, we call this the, uh, I guess it's the Seiton Seiko Tonin. I don't even know how to say it, but. Uh, very beautiful part, very uh, beautiful piece. If you'd like to purchase this, I'm gonna go ahead and put my email in the, uh, the description below. Send me an email. I'll go ahead and um, ship this pretty much anywhere here in the continental US. Let me show you the bracelet down here. Like I said, it's, in my opinion, pretty much a very mint, but I don't know how OCD everybody is. Let me know. Once again, give me a thumbs up to help with the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel in the bottom right hand corner. And let me know if you'd like to pick this one up.